Now let us have a look on the turret clock mechanisms. So basically, the clock mechanism is divided in three parts. That is, going strain, chiming strain, and striking strain. Now let us have a look on going strain. It is the center of movement and is responsible for turning the hands of each of four dials. The gears are only allowed to spin at a precise speed. The speed is controlled by the pendulum. There are three escapements: pendulum, gravity arms. and escape wheels the two gravity arms will block the escape wheel from spinning but when you push one of the arms it frees the wheel to spin just a little before getting caught again on the another side now push other side the same thing is happening on this side if we switch back and forth the wheel will spin at a controlled rate therefore we use a pendulum for this this rotation travels through the gears up to this rotating stanted shaft and then these gears on top which are called bevel gears they split the motion into four separate directions out to each dial to move the clock hands this is how the going strain keeps time now let us move forward to the chiming strain every specific time interval the chiming set into the motion we notice there are several cables attached here these are control hammers these cables directly connected to hammers above the well Let us see what happens when you pull on one of these cables. It moves the levers which pull the another cables, lifting the hammer up. When releasing the cable, it strikes the bell. You will notice the beauty of these gears spinning. These levers are pulled in just right order and timing to create a nice voice. So we are left with striking strain. There is a count wheel on the striking strain that controls the blows of the clock hammer on the bell to make it chime. It revolves on an extended spindle bush and is quickly set by turning to the correct position.